Hi guys, this tutorial is about the kaleidoscope wheel I did in my eyes open music video for the traps. For my example, I used uh, Tobias Finke from Arrested Development. There's, there's this website where you can get some pre-keyed footage. So it's basically Tobias Finke playing an actor for different movie scenes and it's free to use. So you can use it in any of your video to practice. And once you download it, it's already pre-key, so there's no green screen, so you don't have to key, to key the green out. But if you have some footage already and there's green screen, what I like to use is um, key light. I think it's a, it's a really good plugin to remove the green. Okay, I've put the Christmas vibe on. Let's do it. So first thing, open After Effects and import your footage and then you can drag your clip on top of the new composition button or create a new composition and drag it in it. So now we have our Tobias Funke character and our character will by default turn by the middle. If you don't want your character to turn from the middle of his body as an anchor point, you need to change this anchor point so to do so, you need to go in um, Pan Behind Tool. You, you select this tool, and then you can drag this point and place it where you where you want your your wheel to start. And then you can select your selection tool again. You can place it in the middle. To do so, you need to scale it down a little bit. And and then to to place it really at the middle, you should place your title action safe. And then it's more easy to to place the little cross on the big cross. That way you, you are going to be sure that it's at the center of your, your composition. I do Ctrl D on my PC to duplicate my clip. That way I can have a second layer. And you can choose to place it on top of the first one or behind, depending on which type of wheel you want. It can be going forward in front of you or going in the be behind the first one. What to do first is to activate the clock watch for the scale the rotation and the opacity. So at first you're going to set the opacity at 0% and a couple of frames after you're going to set it at 100%. It really depends on how fast you want your wheel to pop. For every new layer I'm going to set the rotation to minus 33 degree. So every time you need to calculate it. Every new layer I'm always adding 5% uh, more for the scale. So every time I'm duplicating my layer and I cut it and then I move, uh, I move my keyframes so that way I know that I always have the same distance and then I can keep the, the keyframe of the opacity which are already uh, like perfect that way and I only need to erase the two first keyframes and move the two last keyframes for uh, scale and rotation so that way I'm, I'm sure that I start at the same angle and same scale as the, the image before. If you always move it like four frame or eight frame forward between each layer, then it's gonna be quite fast. If you you move your clip instead of just cutting it, then you're going to have different part of the the clip appearing. So sometimes it's going to have it's gone up, and other parts of the clip will have it's gone down, and it's not going to to look like a, the the same image continuing. So it's important you you only cut it. So I'm just going to go on and keep adding layers, always pushing my, my six keyframes. So that way, the more layer I add, the bigger the character gets. Okay, so now we, are, we have a com complete wheel. So you see it slowly appears because we, we set the opacity to zero to 100%. And then it always gets bigger and bigger because we always made plus five every different layer and the angle should always be minus 33, so it goes in the right direction. I'm just adding a background now to make my characters pop more. So once, once you get your, your clip and you're satisfied with it, you just export it and you can do a color correction job with it. I chose to use Magic Bullet to give it this tint and make my color correction, especially if you want to play with that, um, you know, the red and blue border we see on my characters the chromatic aberration, if you want to add that, it, it's really fast and easy to use. 
There's also other tutorials about how to use it without Magic Bullet if you don't want to pay for it. You can do it in After Effects 2 and separate the, the channels. So it is possible to do so without the plugin. It just takes more time and I'm still going to place the link under in the description if you want to learn it in After Effects. Thank you very much guys for watching this tutorial. Stay fabulous! Bye! You, you can't give me accessories and expect me to be serious. Oh, I'm going to sneeze to death! You just can't! <laughs>